in our praise, God will hold us. In our praise, God will shape us. In our praise, God will mold us. Sometimes the best way to make a believer believe is to live it. Saying it don't always say something, but living it will say a lot. Somebody seen you crying last Sunday, but they seen you smiling just this Wednesday. Somebody seen your head down just last Sunday, but Wednesday your head was high. Because folks think when your head down, something is always wrong. But when you hold your head up and there's not a tear there, they know God is doing something. How does all of this tie into what we studied in the first reading? To bring anything into the house of the Lord, you got to bring it in your house first. Before you can build what God has had for us to build here, you got to build it at home first. When the money is not in the church, you just think back to when the money was not in your house. And you just praise God right then and there. And see that he will show up and show out. Your praise will make a way out of no way. Your praise has already made a way out of no way. Your praise has already held on to you when you thought you was about to go under. Your praise 